Good morning, and welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And we are not far from getting this in the shop where we can tear it down, get to that frame, and start putting those Corvette parts on there. But first, first, we got to get this Corvette finished, and we're gonna we're gonna make uh, a really good effort uh, on this video to get to the end of the Corvette tear down and get rid of the rest of the the Corvette, so I can move the uh, 65 in. And we can start working on that frame all right so let's get at it we got a lot to do all right so last videos uh, we got the wheels off the th jacked up. We got the hood off and we got it prepped and then uh, Video after that we got the rear end out uh, That's all done. So we're gonna focus up here now. We need to get the engine and tranny out of here and we need to get the front suspension pulled out so uh, I'm not gonna be delicate about this because I am not reusing most of this. I just really need the engine and the transmission you know we're talking sawzall you know whatever we have to do to to bust it out so we're not going to spend a lot of time being nice about taking this out try to get it out as quick as we can and get get moved on so i've talked long enough let's get it done all right transmission drained now let's get the oil all right and now the oil all right so let that drain and then i'll go ahead and start figuring out where i can drain the uh radiator at in a controlled manner that should be fun yeah all right we'll just let that drain like that there's no rush Okay guys, so while that while that's draining, let's see if we can't worry about disconnecting uh, as much as I can get disconnected while that's draining from the top side. Keep this thing moving. All right. Work on getting this radiator out of here. See if we can't give us some room. A lot of a lot of bolts going around this plastic casing. Guess they all gotta come out, so let's get started on it. All right, let's get the top shroud. All right. Okay, another radiator. All right, let's see if the radiator comes out. So I need to get this fan out of here. Hang on to that. So let me get that. Okay, now the fan. There we go. All right, we're, we're starting to get some room. I need to see if I can get this whole plastic piece out of here. That would open up this whole, this whole area would open up. So let me, uh, Looks like there's four, maybe four bolts holding all of this in. Well, let's try these four bolts. We'll see what we got, all right? This uh, plastic shroud that's all in this area is really built all in there. It's hard to get out. So I'm just kind of destroying it as much as I can to get it out. Come on. 
getting there. <laughs> it's kind of fun this way. Wow. That was a tight fit. It's a lot more fun taking these apart when you don't care about the parts coming off. Well, let's uh, show you the progress. So big open area now in front of the engine. So I just got uh, this bar here, AC. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot more at this point that needs to come off. That bar is probably the biggest thing right there. This is already mostly loose. I just got to disconnect it from that bar. Uh, so we just about got the front of this thing all cleared out and ready to pull this engine out of here. We got some other things to unhook still. Don't, don't. I hear you. I hear you. I'll get it. Just give me a second. All right, guys. So this bar right here, it's uh, welded in. So I'm gonna have to take a cutter and zip that off. Change the blade. So, I got this front all stripped out pretty good. We should be able to get that up a little bit, lift this up a little, and then come out. So, I'm just going to go around this all the way around here, start cutting off things, ripping things off, just get everything disconnected that I can see. Uh, I got to go back underneath and get the engine mounts. Uh, and we should be pretty close to tearing this thing out of here. So, okay, guys. Uh, I've gone over this thing. I think the engine bay on the top side has been freed up. So, uh, as you can tell, it's a mess in here. There's wires and crap everywhere. And I will probably come across some things I did not get and have to just kind of cut things off or whatever I got to do as it's coming out. I'm not really particularly being careful with anything. Uh, I'm going to get underneath now and see about getting those engine mounts loose and then find me a couple sp uh, spots on the uh, engine to hook up to and see if I can't at least pull it up a little bit and just see what I got. Almost there. All right. So I think I've got it, but I'm going to see what's going on here. I don't have, I don't have the reach. This front end so long. I really don't want to spend a bunch of time trying to get that out of there. So I'm just going to try to pull it out really hard and see if that works. But you can see, though, I'm <laughs> the only thing I'm really worried about here is I don't want to damage my uh, rack and pinion because I'm going to be using that. So I got to watch that pretty carefully. Anyway, all right, I'm going to set you guys up. You guys can watch the carnage. Hopefully it's not carnage, but just in case. All right, here we go. Now we're getting tight. I may have to pull that rack and pinion out of there. <laughs> all right uh, i am not going to be able to pull that engine out with that rack and pinion in there that's going to have to come out or i'm going to tear it up so 
rack and pinion. All right, so I got it all broke loose and uh, ready to come out. So let me yank the, put my tools out of the way. Hey, all right, let's get the rack and pinion out. All right, oh, there it is. Let me go put this away. Okay, so you can see now it's much more open. I don't have the rack and pinion running across here and blocking uh, my dampener there. So we're we're gonna um, we're gonna give this one more try. I'm just not really sure we're gonna be able to get this to come up enough to clear the mounts. And then once it does, it's probably going to come pretty aggressively this way. But, you know, it could be exciting. Uh, we're going to give it one more try. If we can't get that, if we can't get it to work this way, because you can see it's, there's a pretty good angle there. <laughs> uh, and it keeps pulling this into the front. I may have to take the Sawzall, maybe cut on either side and try and take out that center section if I can't get it, so I don't know. Let's give it a try. It's coming. Okay. Just about clear the mounts. The body's starting to come up with it. Stay on it. Uh, she's hitting into the firewall pretty hard. Big stick. All right. All right, let's try and see what's going on with the tranny. Oh boy. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's see if we can head your way now. All right. We needed to start going forward. She's wedged somewhere. Let me get a bigger. All right, let's try a bigger bar. We really need this to go this way a little bit. somewhere you know the exhaust is all right so both exhaust I cut them off but there's still that much pipe and that's hitting on the motor mounts so I'm gonna whack those off a lot closer to the mounting Right, guys let me get you back over where you were I know you liked it over there better so let me get you over there I don't know why but you liked it over here better all right I know you guys are waiting for the train wrecks so let's see if we can make it
All right, so we just got some things I need to cut free, some harness. Okay, just check it again. All right, we're gonna go again. filters off like all right I got another wire bundle over here so let me get that one Shifter cable still hooked up. Alright, so we're gonna reset the chains, try to take away some of that tilt. More? Yeah, that's good. Now the real question is, do I have enough height? We may have to set this back down and do what I've said and, and lower the front. But let's try it. You guys want to try? Let's see if we can get it up over. Guys, we're getting there, we're getting there. wasn't pretty but it came out all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the ground so it doesn't fall because that's kind of you know you know me all right let's get it let's get it down yeah okay okay we got it on a dolly I can stick it away in a corner somewhere until I'm ready to 
mock it up in the uh, truck. So that's phase one of what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to get started on tearing down this front suspension. And uh, we got to get some stuff. So I've, I pulled uh, up here, I pulled some bolts. There we go. You can see where I pulled them here and throughout here. And then there were some down here as well that I pulled. And you can see now that's coming up. That's going to come out and just go right to the ground. <laughs> anyway, that opens this up here. Now I can go ahead and pop these and that'll take that right off. Okay, we got the top loose. So let's uh, let's work on getting these shocks off on the bottom here. Okay, you can see where we're at here, just doing the bottom of the shocks. Okay, so I got all the bolts out. I look, I believe, just from looking it over. Got there. I got there, and I got it across the top. I got the sway bar loose, the uh, shock mount. I think it's uh, time to pull this off. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Here we go. We got one. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So, uh, I'm tired. Been working at this all day, uh, getting the engine out, and it looks like we got the one side out uh, as far as the uh, suspension goes on the front. So, uh, I'm gonna clean up because <laughs> let me show you. I got a mess. All right, transmission bled all over. I tried, I tried really hard to make sure I didn't let that happen. I even drained the tranny, but clearly there was still enough in that tail section to pour out. Anyways, I got tools everywhere. I got fluid everywhere. I just need to clean up. So, so we gotta get this side yet. I'll be back out here again in the morning. You guys are welcome to join me. All right. All right. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys. Good morning. Uh, back out here. And we're going to finish stripping down this uh, Corvette. So not much left. We are down to the last scraps, so to speak. So we're going to go ahead and get this uh, passenger side uh, front suspension off. And I got a couple of little odds and ends I'm going to pull off of it. But other than that, we're, we're pretty much done. So I've already listed it on Craigslist and wherever so I can get this thing moved along to somebody for, for free. I don't want nothing for it. I just get rid of it. All right. So just like on the other side, I need to get all those here and there. And then... If you look down here, there, down in there, there's like, there's, there's a few down in there. You can see them. I got to get those. All right. You can see across here, it's gone. Now I have all the access in the world uh, to get that. I wanted to show you guys something too. Um, look in here real quick. But you got your cross member here. You can see it going up here. And it really, all it does is it bolts. Bolts on. There's a couple bolts there. There's a couple bolts on the other side. And you can do that on either side. You should be able to just, of course, getting all your, there's some bracing right there. There's some bracing right there. You, you get those things off. And this comes off. And I'd really thought about trying to adapt this to 
the frame of my truck. The problem I'm running into is the distance between this side and this side is about the width of the outside measurement of the frame. So I'd have to cut a lot of the frame out to get this to slide in. Uh, that, and there's a lot of things on this and the way it's set up. Corvette engines, you can see the mount right here. See how far aft of the uh, uh, cross member it is. It's, it pushes the engine back, which the Corvette does. It gives it more traction and you know grip on the back tires. Um, but you also probably saw when we pulled the engine, how tight it was to the firewall, extremely tight. Um, I think that's problematic for my setup. And to be honest with you, flat out engineering uh, has a cross member that's already set up to go into a 63 C10. And I think that's just a better way to go. Uh, there's still cutting and welding and all those things that's still gonna have to be done to, to adapt it into the frame, but not like this one would have to be. This one here would, uh, would take a lot of modification. It would push the engine back where I don't really want it up against, you know, if it even would work against the uh, firewall in there. I don't even know, I'd have to measure and see, but um, there's just some problematic things with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know, he's the one from Flat Out Engineering. Uh, they have a pretty good, uh, pretty good one, and and it looks nice. It's clean. You know, this has got garbage all over it. The, the mounts are awkward, and they go back, and you got these tangs over here where they've got, you know, uh, for the braces. You know, these angles and all these things. The other one look a whole lot nicer. All right, there you go. Got all that loose. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our shock mounts. Okay, so you can see we got our recap. We're down here now. We got the shock mount off and we got the sway bar bolt out. And the only thing I also cut the uh, brake, brake hose. So the only thing we got left is we got the mount right there and the mount right there and they're kind of a pain because you got to go down into this hole and that way to get to the nut and try to get on it and it's just a pain very doable but a but a pain all right let me get them out and then we'll pull the whole thing off all right guys everything's loose now i just gotta yank and heave yank and heave let's get it out of there let me set you down we'll get it out of there all right here we go There you go. We got it out. All right. So we got it out. Now let's get the uh, sway bar. Just just the two mounts on either side, right there, and one on the other side. So let me let me zip those out of there. Drop the sway bar. And, uh, and that should be it. Oh, the other reason I don't want to use this member here is it's got the mono spring on it, a mono leaf spring. And this is set for the Corvette, set for the weight and how the heck Corvette's going to handle all those things. This is how this thing is set up. Um, and with the new system I'm going to use on my truck, I'm going to go with coilovers all the way around. And I won't be using a monoleaf spring. So I'm going to be removing it off of the, the rear end as well. It has a monoleaf spring on it. That's coming off. And we're going to switch to coilovers. It'll give me more adjustability for, for my vehicle uh, on both ride height and ride quality and handling. So, uh, so I definitely want to go that route. And this has a monoleaf spring in it. I don't want that. So there's a lot of reasons to not use uh, this cross member. All right, let's uh, 
Let's pull that sway bar out of there. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to reuse this or not, but I'm going to hang on to it. Because uh, I don't know what the end up width between my wheels is going to be with the new cross member. So this may be worthless to me, or it may be everything to me. So I'm going to hang on to it. All right, so the last thing I needed to get off of uh, the Corvette is the uh, four link mount to the body. And you can see here, there's just three bolts holding that on. And I'm not exactly 100% sure how I'm going to tie everything in just yet. But I don't want to throw away a perfectly set up bracket. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to um, pull those off, hang on to those, so that when I start fabricating, how I'm going to connect the... Uh, this to my truck that may come in handy uh, at the very least it's going to give me the distances between the two links that i need and all those it's going to give me some of my geometry and setup uh so i need to hang on to those um i'm not gonna pull them off on camera i think it's pretty self-explanatory uh, but i did want to show you uh, because i don't know if somebody's going to be watching these videos and using it as a guide for doing the same thing someday. So I wanted to make sure I got that in there. Whew, boy. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. We got a lot done. Uh, engine, front suspension, we got it all out. Made a big mess, which I get to clean up. You guys watch, but I always have to clean up. I don't understand that. That doesn't make any sense. It's not fair. You guys watch. You guys should, you know, help clean up. But you know, nobody comes by to help. Anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all those things. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, more people coming. And I've always said the more people in the channel, the better. The, you know, there's more comments. There's more back and forth, good discussions. I like it. So uh, let's, uh, let's catch up on the next video where we're going to... We're gonna pull in the C5 or C10 here, the 65 C10, and I've got to get the cab and the bed off, and then strip the uh, suspension from underneath it. That's the frame that I'm gonna be using to put under that truck, my 63. So that's the whole project. I we've finished this portion of it. We got we got it running, we got it in here, and we've stripped everything out from underneath it and everything that we need. Then, this is phase two, so we're going to go ahead and pull that in and strip it down. And then once I'm done stripping that down, the frame will be the only thing left in the shop. And then the, uh, I'll, I'll start from that point, stripping down everything off the frame. And I'll pull all of the, the piece parts that I've just pulled off are going to be pulled into the shop. And we're going to start fabricating and, and and matching all that stuff up to the frame however it needs to be done still to be determined don't know yet won't know till we get it up there anyway that's that's it we're, we're moving to phase two we're moving to the 65 and we're going to strip it down as soon as i get the corvette out of here i don't know how long that'll take gotta find somebody to grab it um i guess i could throw it on the trailer and haul it to the junkyard if i can't get anybody out here in a day or so but all right thanks guys i appreciate it see you on the next one